Well, Michael Claher is an equity analyst at Citigroup Global Markets, joins us now from the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. Thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. So uh, just taking a look at Israeli equity markets this morning, seeing uh, the biggest drop at one point in almost a month, would you say that there is increasing concern about geopolitical risk rising in the region? Uh, I think uh, the reaction to geopolitical risk takes uh, a back seat, really. Um, if you look uh, over the last five, ten years, the Israeli market has always uh, had to deal with uh, geopolitical risk in the background, uh, skirmishes on the, on the southern uh, border with Gaza, uh, also to the north. Um, if you actually look at the CDS today, uh, the CDS spread today, it actually hasn't moved. That's probably a better indicator of how uh, investors look at geopolitical risk here. So where specifically do the concerns about global growth lie? Uh, well, it's an open economy and we're looking to see what's happening in the US and obviously closely at Europe to see how that will impact Israeli exports and have a, a follow-on impact for uh, Israeli domestic growth. I think the main uh, questions for Israeli investors today are one, what's the growth outlook? Uh, we've been growing at 4% for the last couple of years. Growth expectations are coming down. Um, and uh, that's, that's one factor. And the other is uh, the regulatory uh, environment. We've had uh, social protests in Israel over the last few months since the summer, uh, looking at uh, focusing on the high cost of living. We're now seeing some uh, regulatory and legislative reactions to that. And the question for investors is how will that invest, how will that affect their, their sectors and the investment uh, environment? All right. Uh, you mentioned you mentioned the GDP forecast. So let's just actually take a little a look at that because in the last hour, actually, the Israeli finance ministry said that it is expecting four percent GDP growth. This is next year, and the budget director said that the deficit is likely to be two point six percent. And so I want to ask you, Michael, what's been the reaction there to this amongst investors? Uh, I think the market takes, um, uh, I mean, that's from the Ministry of Finance. We've had a, a lowering uh, of estimates from the Bank of Israel over the last uh, month or two. And I think uh, invest, the investment community is probably lower than that Ministry of Finance estimate. But these numbers are moving all the time, obviously. So we're very focused on, uh, on international growth, but also on domestic demand. And we're seeing, we've seen uh, a weakening of both over the last three or four months. Uh, now, Michael, you were saying that Israel, Israeli markets are watching U.S. and European growth figures very closely. Of course, Europe is one of your main export markets. Many analysts are saying that attention is now going to turn to the U.S. as a super committee tries to find ways to bring down the deficit uh, as we, we have the FOMC meeting as well. So which region would you say is there more concern about? Well, we focus a lot on the U.S. just because a lot of uh, Israeli technology companies are A-listed in the U.S., but also doing uh, business with uh, the U.S. Uh, enterprise. So we're very focused right. on those numbers, but uh, obviously Great. Europe is, uh, is just as large as uh, um, an export market. Michael, Claire, thank you so much.